Alrighty, this is the Big Fish 120 by three water kayaks. We'll start with a trailer. Bought a trailer and um, basically fabbed up a frame and bought some boat skids. Man, so that way it goes into the into that hull style. So it slides on and slides off nice and easy. Two straps at the back, one strap from the side, two straps at the front to hold it down. Perfect setup for that kayak. All right, we'll start, we'll start from the back. I bought the rudder. Probably about six months after I bought the bought the kayak so it comes with your I don't know if you can see steering left right and there's your your pull cord so you pull it and that'll come straight up but because I've got this it sort of stops it but that, I just leave that down for when it's on the road you got your drain plug there um, there's your back cargo area which goes all the way to the back of the seat so you can see what I've done with the box there bought a box from Bunnings 400 mil wide by 400 and I just screwed these um, anchor points and got the the cable tightener so I've just used that so this isn't going anywhere and then from Railblazer two single rod holders on the back of it to hold it down uh, to store the rods Now this is where the battery goes So I've only got a 45 amp battery in there, but everything's Looks up to these perfect. I will go to lithium soon, but Yeah, so all my electronics motor and everything runs to there. This is my transducer setup So that's the back of the kayak and That's the transducer so you can sort of just adjust it once you're in the water, just have it sort of set nice and straight. And the beauty of it is just unlock it, pull it out, and then with the cable it goes to the fish finder, just pack it away. That way everything's sort of packable. All right, let's move over a little bit. Fish finder. Perfect setup there for me. I've got that on the railblazer mount. So that also just comes off. And I just pack these two away in my box. And that swings around, you can adjust it, you can sort of move it how you want it. So the cables will, will just get tucked on the side of the seat when I'm on the water. And it will go straight into the battery. So I hook that into the battery. And then transducer goes to the head to the or head unit or fish finder and, and that's set up on its own. We've added another railblazer mount here for the rod holder. Same as on the opposite side. Added another railblazer mount here. So that's for my lights, which I've got a plug there. And it is right there. So that's running. You can see the cable going underneath, underneath the track, out the back there, the white sicker flex, it goes underneath and goes into the box. So I've set up that. So that's the cables. They split off onto each side to run the lights. And if I don't want any lights and I want to do something a little bit different, I can put the rod holders right up front. But I prefer it right there. So these get packed away as well. They get packed away into my, oh, into my railblazer box. So at least that way, during the day when I'm using it, I don't need to have it out. And if I am going to do a little bit of night fishing, say Lake Yildon, or if I'm out in the bay, I will um, have these on. That's when I do get a bigger battery, but yeah, for now, these can 
staying there. I just put a compass on there just for shits and gigs because I saw it online I thought I'd just buy it for the sake of buying it. That's the front storage area. I just had this clip here just sitting there. I was using it for random stuff but yeah same as the other side. Rod, hol rod holder as well. The seating is perfect. You got I think three three or so adjustments. <clears throat> so that's my ideal seating. That's inside. It does have a standing deck there. You can flip the seat right up and stand stand there and fish. But I don't normally do that. You can mount transducer through the box. Uh, let me pop it open. You can mount it in there if you really want. Shit, don't want that to get rusty. All that. Oops. Yeah, you can mount it through there. There is the plug there. And then at the back of the... Let me just pop that out. You can see at the back there, it's got the... How it runs right down. So you can mount it on the, on the, on the bottom of the box. If you, if you want to do that. But uh, I didn't. So I've left it like that. Just to put other random stuff in there. Clean all that up. All right, now put a rail blazer mount there. So I've got the angled sort of bracket. So that's for the light above. Also at night, you can get the rail blazer, the one that's a 360. So I've got I've got some wires that I can pull down so that doesn't sort of wobble around. So that's that extra rod holders that come standard which I use that side for for my um, landing net and this side I this side I don't because of the motor so now this is the water snake 24 pound and I have to fix this that's just come and done which is fine, I can fix that, no issues. That is just the rod holder, I bought, they come in pairs. Now, with the force, with the force of that wanting to push forward, it leans, it leans against there, so it doesn't um, want to spin out of the water because the mount that, they, that you get for it, it's only round. So once you tighten it, it's pretty good. But yeah, that's the mount that I've I've put on. Sick of flexed everything. So that's how the motor comes in and just sits there. And then when it's running, pushes against the this rod holder here. When you've got the torque, so it'll push like that, and then your kayak will go. And then backwards, you just have to hold it, hold the handle. They do give you a long one, but that snaps because of the force of this, the, the amount of. Um, pressure but yeah the beauty of it is that when you do do a run up to the to the bank flick the end, flick the motor off and it will just it will just tilt sort of with the with the kayak so the blades still pretty good yeah and then if you're don't want to sort of use it I usually just flip it around like that Oops flip it around once it's tight it just sits there kind of like that so that's before I get into the water and also with the rudder so when it's down I usually just pull the handle this thing flips up and that's it if not it'll just sort of move on its own which is good steering for the rudder they give you new whole new track and the foot pedal that you sort of screw onto it. So you replace the old one with the new one, and then you just run the, the run the wires through the existing um, existing holes that's supplied on the kayak. And then once you push your, once you push it forward, it goes right, pull it back, or pull that one, it goes left, and then whatnot. So that's pretty good on, um, on open water. Once you got your, your motor running, once you got your motor running, 
just sort of hold it in the straight position and then just steer with your feet and there your rod holders are there trawling if you want you can trawl with those ones but i usually just trawl from the front have the rods right out sideways just that way i can see see what's happening with the rods so i'll have them out kind of like that and yeah so at the murray where i fish a lot with this keep it nice and straight always so that way i've got um the two rods up in front you know getting hit so that's good because if i have it sideways my eyes usually have to rather than watching both i then have to go look kind of move my head and constantly do head checks of, of the rods you know so like this they're both in front of your vision and you see one or two go off at least at least you can see the rods in front of you like that so that's that's my ideal um, setup but yeah everything everything comes off so once the cables you unclip the, the alligator clips unscrew these and that'll just slide out and there's your there's your motor and that's what you're left with so I just tighten them up so I don't lose the nuts and that'll stay on the kayak you can adjust it it's got teeth uh, ribs I can't, you can't see it uh, if you can see it there's ribs here so you can adjust the the angle of how you want it so that that stays like that uh, let's pop this off so that's the light that comes off as well so that sort of stays like that and then cable for the Lawrence comes out There are more videos on these kayaks, so check them out. Just do a, do a pack up while I'm here. So the cables just come out. That's from the battery. Take that off. And that'll go. If that decides to come out of there. That'll go in my box with all the stuff that I don't normally use. Rod holders, they go in there with the with the battery. But I take the battery out obviously to charge it. But for now I will put it in my trailer trailer box. This I'll have to, this I'll have to clean up. And that's it without anything on there. You saw it all with it on. So there are all the mounts. Just mount, I guess, wherever you want. And don't be shy to mount on the actual body. Just use marine grade Sikaflex. And that's what I've done with all my other stuff. And yeah. So it's really up to you how you want to design your own kayak or the style that you want to deal with. But that, this has worked for me and I'm pretty happy with it. Everything just removes, everything comes out. Those cables stay, which is fine, they're not in the way. Yeah, so that's the, that's the setup. And I just chuck my motor. I'll chuck the rod holders into this trailer box, seeing as the kayak's on the trailer, so that can stay in there. This stuff I'll leave in the garage, and if I need to take something like the fish wind or whatever, then I'll just chuck it in with the with the other gear. But, um, yeah, there's a lot more features to, to the kayak, you know, but um, there's a lot of other videos on the, on the Big Fish 120 if you want to have a look at them. But this is my setup and how I like it. That's all, um, yeah, screw it in. Box isn't gonna go nowhere, never has, never will. Yeah. So that's, that's my kayak on the trailer. Yeah, I love the trailer frame that I've, that I've mounted up. 
pretty simple. Works. This one holds a stop it, stopping it from this um, strap stops it from bouncing off, which it will never will. And that is just to stop it from going forwards and backwards. So I adjust the back one to how I like it, and then I just strap it back if I want to go further back strap it down if it's too far back I'll release this I'll tighten the back the back straps up and then I'll tighten it again and then get my nice nice um, spot where I want to leave it yeah. so hopefully that that helps with a little bit of um, a little bit of info on the, on the big fish and some of the setups people have done. Alright, thanks guys.